first thing you need to do is be safe. Disconnect the appliance or turn off the breaker to avoid electric shock. Today we're going to be working on this Whirlpool dishwasher. The problem that we are having with this dishwasher is that it's not going through the whole cycle. The model number is on the display. Now, as I was saying, the problem that we have is that it's going through the settings, but it will not go any farther from rinsing. It will stay at rinsing, it will not get too dry, it just sits there and it doesn't do anything else. This is what it does. It will not move from rinse. Now we're going to go ahead and start checking things out. And as soon as we open, as you see right there, it will not move from rinse. As soon as we open the um, dishwasher, we found that the heat element, which is the one drives the um, dishes, is broken now as you see this one is visually broken you can see that is um, broken but sometimes uh, it will not be like that you have to look for this uh, piece where it's cracked make sure you find your water valve your main water valve in case of any emergency in the case you have to turn it off Now, go ahead and close your water valve and go ahead and start removing your water line from your dishwasher. I believe this is a half inch uh, copper, oh no, five eighths or three eighths water line. As you see, sometimes it will still leak water. If this doesn't turn off, always be prepared for water to spill out. Remove your drain line from your um, garbage disposal or your regular drain line. You have to remove that drain line. That's the um, dishwasher drain line. Now, what we're going to do is, since I have a copper line, I really don't want to remove this copper line from the dishwasher. Now you have to remove these two screws from the top of the dishwasher. Sometimes those screws are going to be on the side of the dishwasher. It will have two screws on the top and two screws on the bottom. Now as you see it has two filler screws that are attached to the cabinet to be able to hold the dishwasher in place. Also go ahead and loose the front legs to be able to bring the um, dishwasher down and be able to wiggle it out. Now this dishwasher was very tight on this spot even when I um, got the legs loose. As you see I have the uh, copper water line look for something to hold the dishwasher and keep it and keep it tilted for you can do the job now this is the way I'm doing this job but this is not the way I do it all the times this is the two terminals as you see in the picture there are on the um, heat element remove the two terminals from the uh, heat element If you cannot do it with your hands, use a, a pair of pliers and then remove the two nuts that are holding the uh, heat element in place, just like so. As you now, as you see now, it's free and loose and you can go ahead and remove it out of the way. That is the broken uh, piece. As you see, 
it cracked in half. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the other piece and move it out of the way. This is the new part. That is the part number. And this is how it looks brand new. Now we're going to go ahead and put it in place. It should be held by these two clamps on the front. Now, like I was saying, I did this job this way, but you can go ahead and remove your copper line from your water valve and just go ahead and lean the whole dishwasher to the front or the side to be able to do the job. I really had to do it this way because the um, copper line, if I mess too much with that copper line, I will have a water leakage and I find uh, the way to do it this way without having to go get another water line and or have a leakage. Now go ahead and put the two nuts they are holding. In this case, they are different color. They are color black. Go ahead and install the two terminals and adjust the legs to be able to put it in back in place. Just make sure. Go ahead and do the wiring. That's another thing. If that wiring is not long enough to uh, pull it all the way out, you have to remove this wiring. Remember, turn off the breaker. To avoid electric shock go ahead and install the uh, two screws that holds the dishwasher in place and also adjust the bottom legs Now, go ahead and install your copper line back in the water valve and make sure you tie the um, water line. Make sure you don't over tighten it or leave it loose because you, if you over tighten it, you will mess that thread and there will be a water leakage. And then if you leave it loose, you will, be, you will have a water leakage as well. Go ahead and install your drain line back in your um, garbage disposal or your water line. Make sure the drain line is all the way up and have that loop that's like a P trap to prevent the water from keep coming the water from the sink to keep coming back in your um, dishwasher. Now that is the water valve on your on dishwasher make sure that water valve is not leaking I have to adjust it because even with all my percussion it started leaking and I have to adjust it to make it from stop leaking now at this point I have it running and it's working the way it's supposed to Thanks for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.